Hey, it's Mahesh here. I'm in the new shop for Gentlemen and Rogues along Christchurch Road in Bournemouth. And today we're going to be cutting John's beard. John, are we, are we doing the hair on the head as well? Yeah. Yeah. Foil. Okay, cool. Um, and then how much do we want to take off the beard? Uh, just a good trim up, tie to the sides and the, the neck up again. Take the bottom off, level it all out. Cool. Not worried about taking anything off the length. Morning. Just uh, what's needed. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to scoop it round? I'm happy to go with. Do you, or do you want it sort of squared off a little bit? Square off a bit. Okay, a bit. yeah, because it is quite round. Rounded, isn't it? Yeah, so all right, let's just change up the shape a little bit, yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, so you want to foil this yeah. completely off? Okay, cool. We'll do that first, and then we'll do the beard. So John has his head uh, with the foils, so completely smooth, no hair at all, but you can't use the foils uh, unless you've taken most of the hair off, because it will just feel like his hair's being literally ripped out, out of his head. So we go over with the detailers and just take off as much hair as possible. Can I just point out that this is not a fade? No. You know, uh, Why? <laughs> this is the thing, like people talk about having like, like growing their, like when they're losing their hair, they talk about, oh, I don't know what to do with it and, you know. Looking for personal experience, right? Yeah, exactly. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's no secret, Carlos, that I've got no hair. <laughs> I've I'm, I'm, I'm sort of advertised it every day. That's the one thing that I did was like, I had a buzz cut like number one all over or number two all over, but I still had a bit of hair and I was like, it doesn't look very nice. Because it grows out like a bloody tennis ball. Don't it? You know what it's like. That's a different game. So we're going to talc his head. So when, in our shop, when we talc, it's because when we use the foils, it causes friction. So just having a little bit of talc on the scalp just stops that from getting so much friction on the skin when you're working with the foils. And we al I always pull up the skin a little bit just to get that bit of tension when I'm using the foil. So that the skin doesn't bunch up while you're doing it. Just give them some nice tension to the skin. What do you think of our new capes? Lovely. They're nice, aren't they? I was admiring that. It's Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> Tropical. Aloha. I should, I mean, when you come in, you should get like the, the flowers when you come in. Shouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Places I go on holiday, they don't do that. <laughs> They, never been. they don't do that in Wales. No. No. <laughs> you cross over the bridge, they don't, they don't stop you and put a garland around you. Hawaii is in Wales, right? Yeah. Oh no, it's Cornwall. Cornwall. Hawaii is in Cornwall. <laughs> okay, so like we've always done, standing face on. So I can see the shape of the beard straight off the bat. I'm not having to stand on the side and try and guess what's going to happen when I look at him in the mirror or face on. Come in backhand this way. The reason why I don't swap hands is, is, is because I'm, I'm going in with the same momentum with, but with the same hand. And we're just tapering John's beard in. And then John's had quite a round beard for a while, so we're just gonna go straight in and just square that off. It takes me... Five minutes. No, two and a half minutes. 
if I if I if I just sort of you know take it easy. So I'm not taking too much underneath just at the moment. So let's just check out the full, the fullness of the beard. Make sure we retain that fullness. So there's a little bit of a kink in there, so I'm going to get that out, John. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a two, just sort of halfway across the ear. So I'm coming halfway across the ear and coming in with a two, going upwards. And then when I come down this way, I don't really take so much off. You take a little bit off and you be really gentle with it and just allow the clipper to do the work. Just to get that little blend in there. And you can see you get, a nice, you get a nice subtle blend with that. And John wanted me to take the sides down a little bit, so that's what we're going to do. And again, this side, you know, across the middle of the ear. <laughs> and I've become a little bit addicted to Moana. I'm a big fan of the rock, so. What are you saying, Josh? Are you a fan of uh, Dwayne? Oh, Dwayne. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Dwayne. Well, I call it. I call him Dwayne the Rock, but he likes me just to call him Dwayne. Yeah. Like when we go out for dinner and stuff, he just says, Mahesh, can you just don't have to keep calling me like Dwayne the Rock? Just say Dwayne. Yeah. I go, all right. Well, I K Dwayne the Rock. He goes, no. What have I just said? Okay. So he calls me Mahesh the Sponge because that's how hard I am. And he's like Dwayne the Rock. That's <laughs> the sponge. <laughs> so when you've cut the beard and the customer's sat forward, this is what happens. And then when you pull it out, you can then really see what's going on underneath. So you can see like the hair, the way that the hair grows and pushes it up. So you're not gonna, you're never gonna see that. You're never gonna see that whilst he's sat forward, so this is why we push this, push this client this way. Picked up my certificate yesterday, John. That's wrong. My yoga teacher, yeah. Qualified, All done. got my certificate, got my insurance. I'm ready to rock and roll now. Free lessons for everyone. Yay! So what I've done is I've cut it up and around so then when John puts his head forward that will sit better for him because that's how the hair's growing. You can see like underneath like the hair grows up and that way so as I push that up it actually creates the shape that I want. And that will help the beard to sit better for him. I can see across the beard as well. So I'm just gonna go off and cut some little stray ones. So just keep your eyes closed, John. I did have a little eye mask here somewhere. Look at that. Stop the hairs going in your eyes, John. Lovely. Okay, John, I'm gonna just tidy up the moustache, yeah? yeah. So just going in at a slight angle, just, just above the lip. Yeah. Okay, let's see you up. It's good color, isn't it? John, your beard. Good color. It is. It's got a really good, strong beard as well. It's really nice. It's nice to work with because it's like got a lot of density to it. We're going to put on a little bit of shaving cream. Now this shaving cream is a moisturizer as well. So the reason why we use this is that it 
it just hydrates the skin while we while we're working with it. So it's really nice. I'm actually looking forward to my animals coming over end of the month. Are they? Yeah. You said your indoors are really cool, aren't they? Yeah. Are you a whiskey man, John? Yeah, I like a nice whiskey. There you go. I got so much whiskey at home, man. <laughs> they just send me another box of like lots of little, um, like 35 mil or whatever they are, 55 mil something. You should bring a bottle of whiskey in here, Carlos, so we can offer it to the customers. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this out and I can see that, you know, one side's neat, is, is off. So this is much, much more length through this side than that side. I get that. I think it's just, sometimes you just get breakage on one side or another. And I think, I think when you have a moustache, you don't realise that actually you do fiddle with it. Some, I mean, I fiddle with mine, I don't even realise I fiddle with it sometimes, so. Are you a fiddler? On the roof I am, yeah. Yeah, fiddle on the roof. So what I do is, I tend to comb my moustaches down. and then cut up and inwards. Rather than trying to have the moustache like sitting out and trying to cut it out in the air, just cutting it so it, it also blends in with the beard. So if John wants to wear it, so it just sits in with the rest of his beard, he can, so that when he combs it down, it just blends in. And if he wants to make a feature of the bit of the moustache, then he can, because it's got still got some elongation from the on the sides. Okay, that's better. That will sit in better with the beard. Yeah. I've really tapered that in, so it comes in, and you've got a really sharp, much sharper, cleaner line there. Nice. Is that better? Yeah. I've trimmed the fringe so it won't go in your eyes anymore. Good. I hate the fringe in the eyes. <laughs> Me too, mate. I'm about to, I'm about to wear hats in the winter because it blows around. <laughs> um, how about a bit of uh, tea tree in it today? We can do. So we'll pop, pop a little bit of, um, of the tea tree oil in. And one of the reasons why I'm using the tea tree oil is because we've shaved the head and it's really good just to massage across the top of the head as well. Especially when you've like exposed the head to like the bowling clippers. It smells good that, doesn't it? Mm. Fresh. John, you are done. All right? Happy. Lovely. Very happy. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.